Hi, Kevin Blanche. I want to get into who are the tea baggers? Who are the tea party? Who are they? Everybody thinks it's this new dynamic freaking group. Please, please. I live right here in Kool Aid, nutcase, freaking tea bagger heaven. Heaven right here. I'm like a Sela camper, an ivory billed woodpecker. They are nothing but Republicans. I live among them all. Look, a few years ago, you couldn't come out and say he's a Republican. I mean, these people were loud and proud for years. I'm a Republican, dug in, I, you know, they, they're indoctrinated, they're baptized, not, no, not in the Mormon religion, they're baptized into the freaking radical right. They are Republicans, that's all they are, that's all they are. Anybody thinks, oh, this is a new party, bullshit, bullshit. I know plenty of them say, oh, that, they, they won't admit they're a Republican anymore. How can they? You know, because remember their platform was about fiscal responsibility, fiscal responsibility. You know, and, they, and Bush runs the dead up in the nightmare and all everything that happened. Who would call themselves a Republican? It's a Republican after W. So they just says, we can't call ourselves Republicans. Oh, no. And I pl believe me, I know plenty of them that do this. First, they were saying, well, yeah, I'm an independent now. Well, they just went to Tea Baggers, Tea Party. The Tea Party is nothing more than the Republican Party. Now, granted, it's got to the right radical, ignorant fringe, but that's who they are. So don't think it's some new freaking party. And let me tell you, Tea Baggers, about the whole, you know, and they got all wrapped up in the moral issues gay marriage and guns. You know, and I say it like this in the gun situation. My, I got a really crazy ass friend. He's a criminal, big time criminal. When this whole radical gun, Obama's gonna take our guns away. This guy was smart. He bought 200 AK-47s. Illegal now. You know, well in Utah, I think it's legal. But I mean, the cheap made German piece of shit. These guys all want them. I mean, the worst freaking gun ever made. It makes Brownie's machine gun here look like a freaking Bugatti. You know, so he bought 200 of them, 200 bucks a crack. When this whole hype was going crazy, he was selling them 1,600 a piece. He sold them all. Not to mention, he hoarded up every bullet there ever was. He made a fortune. So here's how it works. These guys are all like, yeah, my gun, my gun, I'm going to get my gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm in a bar in Wyoming. We're all drinking. This big, freaking, crazy-ass trucker gets all mad at me because uh, he switched we were watching the NBA Finals on the TV up there, and he switched it to NASCAR. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. We were watching freaking it. I'm going to ride my truck and get my gun. I says, listen, you dumb motherfucker. This is Wyoming. Everybody in here has got a fucking gun. I mean, fuck it. Be like fucking Blazing Saddles. You know, so all you guys, you got guns. What makes you think? Okay, so you, they let you buy all these guns. Guns. Okay, you can own them. You can, they're expensive. You can own them. You go out the thing and shoot them. You tell your old lady how to make to fucking, you make your dick grow, I guess. But in the reality, you can't use one. Pull one. Pull one. It's called brandishing. The cops are coming like this. You're going to be contagious and go to jail. Pull one. Now I hear these people, well, I need to protect my family and my house. Well, these Orwellian fucking morons are so fucking whacked here where I live. I'm a stuck-on plaster contractor. All their houses look exactly the same. I've said it for years. You can't drink and drive in Utah, not because it's illegal, because you get so drunk, you come home to your 800-house subdivision with your fake rock, your fake stuck, your wife with her fake tits and her big ass and freaking, you come home and you're, your same cars in the driveway. It's so Orwellian, you can't figure out which one's your house. So you go to the wrong house, and while you're trying to get in, the owner freaking pulls his gun out of his sock and freaking boom, kills you. That's why you can't drink and drive. I used to joke about this for years ago. It happened. It just happened not very long ago here. This guy is rattling on the freaking back door right out here. Not very long, far from here. Rattling, and this guy's like, instead of being a normal human being, just 911, here comes the cops. The guy's obviously drunk, and he keeps going. He goes to the front door, can't get in. He goes in the back. He's obviously drunk. This guy shoots him through the glass door. Sure shit. He lived four houses down. He was at the wrong house drunk. Well, and it's not, and everybody's like, well, God, he deserved it. God damn it. What about the guy who squoze the trigger? He's a Christian boy. You know, he's a young Christian male with children. You don't think that's going to work on his psychology? So the whole gun thing that they got wrapped up, I'm like, and, and when you're saying, oh, I got my gun, I'm going to do this, that, and the other, what makes you think the other guy ain't got one? Who the fuck ain't got one? Just because guys don't throw one over their shoulder and go pack don't mean they don't have one. Fuck, I live in Utah, please. <laughs> People think, ah, I'm tough, look at my gun. You know, it's like, walk quietly and carry a big stick. You know, who the fuck ain't got one, you know? So, they got you indoctrinated. That's who the Tea Party is. They're freaking, and they, you know, they've been fooled, and they've been Kool-Aid, and then they get into the whole homosexual, you know, and I hate to say this, but, I mean, I ran about it, and I take a lot of shit for this, because we live out in the western Weber County. I call it Pretty Cowboys, and I have this big Pretty Cowboy rant that I go on about, you know, 
They're all gay. Hell, I grew up right here on this ranch. My grandpa was a real cowboy, missing one eye from an accident, two fingers, drank straight Jim Beam, drank Lucky Lager with grease on it this deep under there in a hundred degree, dirt this thick on him. His truck, I think it was red. You know, these fellows were real cowboys, you know. These guys with their pretty, and I hate to say this, but all the homophobes that are on the far right, it's like this. They're gay. And they stand up and spew against homosexuality because they were told when they were young that being gay is some kind of go to hell death sentence. You know, and so they, they go off and they're, you know, they fight against it all the way to getting married and having kids. You know, it's fact. It's true. So that's who the Tea Party is. That's who the Tea Party They're nothing but fucking Republicans, please. And everybody says, well, they swept the House in the midterm. Every single midterm after president election for a hundred years, the other party grabs seats. A hundred, you know, 50 for 50. It's 50 for 50. You think that was some unique thing. Oh, God, we swept the, you know, House. They didn't even pick up the Senate. The Tea Party cost them the Senate. That happens every two years. When a new president from a different party gets elected, the next two years, the opposite party takes the House. 50 for 50. The Tea Party and the Tea Baggers are nothing new. They are Republicans. That's all they are. Kevin Blanche. Est-ce que vous parlez francis? I don't just buy American. I buy Western Europe, too.